My biggest complaint about the movie Shift is the title. It should be called The Book of Job by Christopher Nolan. The Shift is an indie Christian film fused with a psychological sci-fi thriller, sort of like Tenant or Inception, but as I said, with lots of Christian themes, I'd say at the core of the movie, it's actually a love story. It's about a man who loves his wife and is trying to get back to her, but he also loves God and is trying to get back to him. So if you don't like the indie Christian vibe, then this may not be the movie for you. Overall, I'd give the movie four stars, though I think that the movie's writing was not as good as the camera work and the editing and that type of stuff. I would describe The Shift as a family movie. There wasn't anything sexual, but... You know, if you're very sensitive to guns, then, well, you might not like this. Uh, overall, I would say that the guns were mostly just kind of being pointed at people, and you could hear the sound, but you didn't really see, like, the damage the guns were doing most of the time. Though there are a few exceptions to that, I would say it's not super violent, but you did see a little bit of blood at one point. And uh, there was also, like, a little bit of drinking, uh, a little bit of smoking cigarettes, um, and then I think that the other thing was just that there was like threats being made to people. So if you have like a really little kid and they don't like to see someone, you know, kind of being threatening and they also don't like to see other people going through emotional stress, then yeah, this movie might not be for them. I personally think that you could bring, you know, safely bring a seven year old to the movie though, you know, hearing kind of what my rating is for it, you can be the one to decide as a parent. Every parent and every child is different, so that's kind of ultimately something up to you to pick. But again, in my opinion, it was a it was a good family movie. In terms of the actual camera work, the editing, the action scenes, I would actually put this movie up to par with Angel Studios' last action film, The Sound of Freedom. But I think that the writing was lacking at a few points, and that's kind of what left me feeling as I was watching this that this was an indie film. I'm going to get into that now, and just be warned, there are some spoilers. The issue that the writer had in this movie was shifting gears. There was a romantic scene kind of near the beginning of the movie at a hotel bar, and the gears weren't shifted correctly, and when you got there, it just felt a little bumpy, a little awkward, a little weird. It was definitely too long-winded. So uh, that was something that should have been written a little more concisely. Uh, at the end of the day, I wouldn't describe it as a deal breaker, but you know, I'm giving this movie a total of four stars. I think that if it would have been written a little more concisely there, I would possibly give it four and a half. Another scene where it was written a little bumpy was where a prayer happened in a cafe. This was also near the beginning of the film. It just felt like they hadn't quite shifted gears correctly, and so when they when the guy uh, starts to pray, it just felt a little awkward. There have been plenty of great prayer scenes in movies that I've seen. I just don't think that this was uh, queued up the right way and it just didn't feel quite right. Uh, overall, the movie was uh, a very good movie, and like I said, I would give the movie in total four stars uh, when you're calculating everything together. If you like seeing indie Christian movies and also psychological sci-fi thrillers like Inception and Tenant, then I think I would recommend you go see this one too. But be warned, if you're the Wicked Witch of the West and you melt anytime you hear the name of the Lord get mentioned, then you need to stay clear from this film. It was a great one, and if you have any differing thoughts than me and my analysis, you know, go ahead and leave those in the comments. If you have any questions, also go ahead and leave those as well. Uh, have a Merry Christmas!